This is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everyone. It is time to say hi to Diana Brown from Ideal Transformation. Hi, Diana. How are you today? No, I'm doing good. Great. Now, let's tell everybody a little bit about Ideal Transformation, about how you can help them with some weight loss and maintain that weight loss. Absolutely. Well, what I was hoping to share today is um, we are a wellness clinic at Ideal Transformation, and we have a phenomenal program for weight loss. But we also have a weight management program, and a weight loss program has two components, and one of them is the management. And maintaining your weight loss is probably the hardest part. So we want to encourage everyone to embrace a program where you can have a coach through that maintenance program as well. So during the holiday season, it's exciting and full of anticipation, but it also can be very overwhelming and stressful. And so adding a diet to the mix, if you aren't already in the mindset of doing that, is one more stressor that we don't need. Yeah, the holidays for a lot of people don't seem like the ideal time to start a diet, but you're saying that this just might be key, isn't it? Yeah, that might be true. And so what might make sense in the month of December, if that is you, is to maybe embrace some foundational strategies that will support your health through the holidays. It's so important to feel good during the holidays. And so I've got three strategies that I'd like to share. There are lots of them, but here's three big ones that could certainly make a difference for you. All right. What's the first one? The first one is the bad news first, minimize sugar. Oh. So <laughs> I know, and the holidays are just full of all these They're, sweet confections. And all the candy, candy, all the Christmas candy. Oh, we, Candy's we just, everywhere. Just minimize right. it. You're not saying eliminate, just minimize it, right? Right. I like the old Chinese proverb that says that the banquet is in the first bite. And so as soon as you... <laughs> As soon as you start indulging, you really aren't enjoying past that first or second bite anyway. So kind of remember that. But sugar has been linked to things like depression and uh, um, poor health. It's, it's very much taxing on your body when you eat sugar. And so if you can minimize and choose the thing, you will be way ahead on the health uh, bar. Wonderful. All right. What's the next thing we get, want to do? Because, again, we have these little tips here to try to keep you on track here. What's the second thing? All right, so the second one is to drink enough water. Our bodies are 70% 70, 70 water, and so they definitely um, need water. And if you don't drink it, you're going to have to get it somewhere, and then it'll come from your food. And so that usually comes with a lot of calories and fat. And so I'd love it if you'd think of water as your, your bargain, calorie-free beverage for health. All right, now how much water are we talking about drinking here? Now, we heard there's a lot. Yeah, so a lot of health um, providers will recommend half your body weight in ounces of water every day, a minimum of 64. So if you're not a water drinker, try to get that eight eight ounce glasses a day. Okay, so that's, a, that's a half a gallon of water a day. So uh, put, a, put a container in your refrigerator, keep it cold, and that way you can drink it. That's the best way to do that. Now, uh, the third yeah. thing, the third key thing that you want to talk about is a hard one. It's to get enough rest over the holidays. And so try to maintain a regular schedule and get your sleep. It's going to improve your mood, improve your immune function. Um, these three tips that I just shared have three things in common, and they are immune support, weight management, and improved mood. And who doesn't want all those things over the holidays? Uh, it, it sounds like a great thing to do. Keep those things in mind during the holidays when you are out celebrating or just living your life, and you can have that. Now, let's talk about getting in touch with you. What's the easiest way for people to get in touch with you so they can start the ideal transformation process? You know, we really do want to make it easy. And so if you feel like giving us a call and asking some questions and learning more about the Ideal um, Transformation Program, please do so. Call us at 270-8446. We have several virtual information sessions that you can sign up for right now. So you can spend an hour in the leisure of your own home to learn about Ideal Protein, which is the protocol that we use, um, and find out how you can perhaps jump onto the weight loss band wagon in january that because great. that's kind of when everyone's doing that all right 515 thin i love that number that is easy to remember 270 thin is a number 515 area code ideal dsm.com for more information as well uh diana brown thank you so much for those that advice and I, I like the thing about the first bite is take the take the one bite and enjoy that first bite you don't need to go way beyond that i think i'm going to try to uh, employ that strategy 
You can get some mileage out of that. <laughs> I'm going to use it. No question about right. it. Thank you so much. Great to see you again. You bet. See you All next right. time. You take care.